our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in this earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. Keep your faith. You must continue to believe in the word God gave us through Jesus Christ. Jesus spoke these words. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. So keep believing. Keep going. God is with you. Jesus is right there. Jesus does not stop there in the book of Matthew. Jesus says this, Come unto me, all ye that are labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus is here for us. Jesus is here. Don't let them think you can't handle it because all you have to do is lay it down and pick up the will of God. Pick up what Jesus is saying. Learn the way of Jesus. This is what Jesus is telling us. We cannot stop finding God for our own selves. We must find Jesus. We must learn the way of Jesus, which is the way of God through the Holy Spirit. It is in you. Do not let them discourage you. Do not discourage your own self. Continue on. Press forward and keep God in everything you do. Jesus just keeps giving us more. We have to listen and find God for ourselves. Study the word of God. Pick up that Bible and read it for yourself. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by his fruit. This is what it means to be able to break generational curses. Just because people in your family or people you know or people you see on TV or people around you, it doesn't matter. Now is the time for you to focus on God. Don't pick up those bad habits other people have. Do not eat of that fruit. Because if you eat of that fruit, you will become corrupt. And then you will spread bad seed. You will spread bad words to people. These words you spread won't be of God. But if you stay focused on Jesus and what Jesus is saying to you, the words you spread to others, they will help them. They will bless them. They will anoint them. And then you are being fruitful and you are multiplying in good measure and in good ways. This is what God has for us. A good man out of the good treasures of the heart bringeth forth good things and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment be positive be productive help people out power of the tongue is real when you speak God hears it did you know that the voice does not travel downwards. The voice carries anti-gravity properties. So when you speak, your voice actually carries upwards to the heavens. When you speak, your voice actually travels upwards towards God's ear. So when you speak, make sure you speak with the Holy Ghost. Make sure you speak with the Holy Spirit and have the countenance of Jesus Christ upon you. Keep it positive. Hallelujah, and let God take control of you. 
Let the Holy Spirit overwhelm you. Let the Holy Spirit guide you in the name of God through Jesus Christ. It is in you. There is no one that can stop you or deny you the treasures of what God has for you. What God has put together, there is no one that can tear it apart. This is for you. This is for me. This is for this entire world, for we are one race, God's race. We are the human race, all derivatives of Adam and Eve, all made in the image and the likeness of the Creator, God. Amen, amen, amen. Stay positive, stay fruitful, stay productive. God is with you. Jesus is with you. Keep in mind, Jesus died on the cross, so let it go. Give it to God. Whatever you have to do to give God praise, shout hallelujah. Shout amen. Shout selah. Shout whatever you need to do to give God praise. To give Elohim the praise and the value that it is worth. For we are servants of God, and we should be proud of that. Don't deny the glory of God that is within you. Be humble, go forth, be strong. In the name of Jesus Christ, God will grant the desires of your heart by way of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen.